While trying to get out of the rib fest, I accidentally found out the historic museum of Scarborough. The museum was established in 1962 when the Scarborough Historical Society moved the Cornell House from Scarborough Village to its present location. First thing I thought, oh, okay, it's really small. I didn't picture it like this and there were too many people, but still I really, really enjoyed visiting the establishment. And after coming back home, I did a lot of research about its significance and its history. So here I'm trying to show you a little bit of what I found out that day and afterwards. Hi, this will help. Thank you. Sounds good. Enjoy. I love your dress. Thank you very much. In total, the museum has four establishments. Among them, two are historic 19th century houses the Cornell House and the McCowan Log House. The two other smaller establishments are the renovated Kennedy Gallery and a modern one-quarter scale reproduction of the half carriage works. The Kennedy Gallery was once a tractor garage at Lyman Kennedy's farm in Agincourt. It was moved to the museum in 1972 and has been renovated to serve as an exhibit and activity room. And this grandpa of bicycle is called Penny Farthing because it looks like a penny and a farthing kept side by side. I just learned it today. The McCowan Log House was built in the 1830s on the banks of Wilcott Creek. The Scottish immigrant William Porteous McCowan settled in Scarborough with his parents and siblings. He moved into this existing log house with his mother and sister and continued to farm the land and raise livestock until his death in 1902. The McCowan family sold the cabin to John Thornbeck in 1948, who moved the building to his farm on Little's Road. The house fell into disuse and was finally moved to Thompson Memorial Park by the Scarborough Historical Society. Look, yeah. What are those? That's actually a bathtub. Oh wow. Yeah, so they would share the same water. I don't well. fit here. No, a lot of people <laughs> do not fit there. Remember those? Yes, they bought into it outside from the shed mm -hmm. once a week. Mm -hmm. And then we would get in and soak them, whatever, and have our bath. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And all of us kids would be put in one at a time. One at a time, yeah. I mean, that still happens now, yeah. Put all the kids at once, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. Is this one for charming something? That one, so we can't touch that one. That's oh. actually a real original artifact. So a lot of the stuff in here are original artifacts. This is a butter churn. Okay. Yeah. okay. Do you want to try some scones? So they're wow. very hot. Very hot. So I'm just going to be tell you to be careful. Maybe your mommy wants yeah. to grab it. Yeah. yeah. And maybe grab a napkin as well because they are hot. Why is it hot? It's because it they just, just came off the fireplace. See? They fireplace. just baked it. Yeah. Hold it. Like Thank you. Thank you. Hot. You're welcome. Thank you so much. So, see how these are gas? It's just really hot. The Half Carriage Works houses a collection of artisan tools donated by the Half family who operated the original shop at Half's Corners.
The Cornell farmhouse was built for Charles and Matilda Cornell in 1858. The house was originally located in Scarborough Village. Charles' father, William Cornell, immigrated to Scarborough from Rhode Island, United States in 1799. William built the township's first sawmill at Highland Creek and helped to cut the Kingston Road. Cornell family lived in the house until 1944. The house building was saved from demolition in 1961 through the intervention of Scarborough Historical Society and local Lions Clubs, who raised the funds to move the house to the newly established Thompson Memorial Park, where it became the first component of the museum. We don't want to eat it on the couch though. Let's... Wow. Hi. Are you really hyped for pizza? Because there's only ribs here, you know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I like this. Oh, oh. Sorry, the cookies actually have to stay in the kitchen while we're coming to the rest of the house. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh, this is so cute. I could actually live here. Hmm? Chunky legs. Like chunky. Baby, baby. Oh, is that a dog ball? Uh, no, that's actually for um, a child. Okay. <laughs> Look, Ian, old, old book. Very old book. See? You can take a look. Let's see if they wow. fashion magazine. Hey, let's go up there. There? Oh look, 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 look. That's a little I think it's a pantry. Yeah. Look, big sugar jar. Thanks a lot for watching and hopefully you will follow us on our next adventure. See you soon.